So let's be clear, launch screens are all the rage nowadays with material design, but you have to make sure that you do it in the right way. Uh, my name is Colt McCandless, and doing launch screens properly results in a great branded experience, but the wrong way could hurt the user perception of performance. Uh, remember, when the user launches your app, they'll be shown a launch screen while your app is loading and getting ready to display. If your application launches pretty quick, then this preview window is only displayed for a quick flash, and then your app will appear. However, if you have a slow loading experience, this image can hang around on screen for quite some time, causing users to either exit out or you can get the dreaded application not responding dialogue. Uh, now, some developers, in order to hide this slow launch experience, decide to theme their app's launch screen so that it's thematically consistent with the rest of the app rather than looking like the system theme start window. Uh, let's be clear, while this seems like it solves the problem, it doesn't. Uh, see, in this scenario, the screen may look better, but that doesn't make it immune to users exiting due to slow load times or the ANR dialog popping up. Basically, you're just covering up the problem. Uh, another way to cover this up is to turn off the initial startup window using the uh, window disable preview attribute. Uh, when you do this, rather than the launch screen being displayed, nothing's shown. So the home screen sticks around until your app suddenly pops up. This feels like a different problem to the user. Uh, basically, what appears to be the screen freezing or stop responding to input, and then they sit there and just jam their finger at it. Listen, user perception of your launch time is really important and not something you want to mess up. So if you're going to put in some launch screen branding, make sure to do it the right way. First, you should address your load time issues of your application. Now, things like long view inflation, lots of object instantiation, or too many resources being loaded are common things which can be fixed to allow a faster experience for your users. Uh, check out the videos that we've done on those topics. Uh, when that's done, and only when that's done, you can think about your loading screens and if you're going to do it, do it the right way. Rather than disabling the preview window, it's recommended to follow the common material design patterns and provide a simple custom drawable for the starting activity. Uh, this will cause your app to display your custom drawable as the startup window rather than the default one. However, once it's time for the app to load, you need to set your activity theme to the real theme you want inside of your onCreate method. The result is a nice branding experience coupled with quick load times resulting in happier users. And that's really what performance is all about, right? I mean, faster apps leading to happier users. <laughs> that's why you should check out the rest of the Android Performance Patterns content. And don't forget to join our Google Plus community for other great tips and tricks. So keep calm, profile your code, and always remember, perf matters.